Hey folks, uh, this lesson is called Scale Factor. This is an integrated math three lesson and you can find all of your math lessons at mrmathblog.com and just make sure you click the integrated math three link. So how does multiplying one or more of the dimensions of a figure affect its attributes? All right, we'll try that here. So Scale Factor, this is called. All right, so let's first find the area of this trapezoid. Okay, so the formula is um, one half base one plus base two times the height. The bases are these parallel sides. So it's going to be 1 half 3 plus 12 times this 8 right here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, add those together and then I'll take half of uh, 8. Half of 8 is 4. 15 times 4 is 60. Don't forget 60 inches squared. Okay, all right now let's multiply the, just the height here uh, by uh, 0 0.5 and determine the new area. Okay, well multiplying by 0 0.5 is the same as dividing by 2. So the new height is 4. So instead of having an 8 here, we're going to go ahead and plug in a, a 4. Okay, and calculate the new area. Okay, so we get, check it out, when we multiply it by 0.5, look what happens to our area. Our area goes down by 0.5. So describe the changes that took place. Well, when the height changes by a factor of 0.5, so does its area. All right. Okay, so let's find this. Sorry, I went a little bit too fast right there. So does its area right there. I go too fast in my classes here. You guys can pause it, though. Let's find the area of this rhombus, okay? All right, so the, the formula for the area of a rhombus is one-half the product of the diagonal. So diagonal one times diagonal two, half of that. All right, and this whole diagonal is 10 centimeters, and this whole diagonal is 4 centimeters, okay? So here we're going to go ahead and multiply 10 times 4, take half of that. That's going to give us 20 centimeters squared, and then we're going to multiply the width by 5 and determine the new area, and then here we're going to describe the changes, okay? So the width we're going to multiply um, uh, by 0.5 right there, so or by 5. Did I say 0.5? By 5. So instead of <clears throat> it being 10, it's 10 times 5 or 50. Okay, so 50 times 4, and then half of that is 100. Is this times 5 this? Um, yeah, it is. So what happened was when the width uh, changes by a factor of 5, so does the area. All right, now let's multiply the width and the height by 5 and describe the change. So 10 times 5 is 50. 4 times 5 is 20. So let's go ahead and plug that in, and we get 500. What relationship does 20 have with 500 right here? Well, let's divide. Okay, so 500 divided by 20 is 25, or 5 squared. Okay, and so when we multiply all the dimensions, by a certain number, that certain number ends up becoming our scale factor and our area changes by that number squared. But it has to be all the dimensions. If you just do one of them, it's just going to multiply it by by uh, that whatever that factor is. Okay, so when both dimensions are multiplied by 5, the area is multiplied by 5 squared. All right, so here's our proportion. A proportion changes uh, when all the dimensions are multiplied by A, okay? And A is our scale factor. That's what this lesson is about. So what happens is if you multiply all the dimensions by A, then your perimeter and circumference changes by a factor of A. Your area um, or surface area will change by A squared. Think area is square units, so it's A squared. And volume will change by A cubed. And just think volume is cubic units, okay? This A is called our scale factor. So let's try this with this volume one right here. Let's find the volume of this hemisphere. I'm sorry, this hemisphere right Right here and this cone right here. Okay, so the volume of a cone is one-third the area of the base times the height and the volume of a hemisphere, well it's half of a sphere and the volume of a sphere is four-thirds pi r cubed. So if we take half of four-thirds, it's two-thirds pi r cubed. Okay, so here's one-third the area of the base. The base is a circle times the height. Okay, so let's plug it in where r is R is this radius, which is this radius, which is 3, okay? And the height is that 4 right there, okay? So let's plug in 3 and 4. All right, so we got to square this. This is 9, and then I'll take a third of 9 is 3, so 3 times 4 gives us, this is 12 pi. Okay, if we do this, this is 27. A third of 27 is 9, but it says 2 thirds, so we multiply 9 times 2, and this is 18 pi, so 12 pi plus 18 pi gives us 30 pi right there, okay? All right, and then the area, you guys, remember it's pi RL. Remember we did that uh, in, the, in the last uh, module, module three. 
pi r l plus uh, 2 pi r squared. Why do I have an extra squared there? I don't know. Anyways, that shouldn't be there, so never mind that right there. Let, let me do this here. I'll take it out this way, a little sneaky guy. Um, that shouldn't be there. So 2 pi r squared is the area of, well, remember, the uh, a sphere is 4 pi r squared. So a hemisphere is half of that, so 2 pi r squared, okay? All right, so r is um, 3, the slant height. Okay, well, remember, here's 3. Here's four. This is going to be five. It's a three, four, five p triple right there. Okay, so uh, that's where the slant height came five. Okay, so this is 15 pi. This is nine times two or 18 pi. 15 pi plus 18 pi gets us 33 pi. Okay, all right. Now let's multiply all the dimensions by two thirds. That's going to be our scale factor and find the new volume in the surface area. Okay, the volume is going to change by two thirds uh, cubed. It's your scale factor cubed. Two cubed is two times two times two, or eight. Three cubed is three times three times three, or twenty-seven. So. The volume is going to change by a factor of 8 27 so The surface area is going to be 2 thirds squared, which is 4 ninths. All right, let me just slide that up. I'm going to just put the volume in the surface area answers just to save some room right there. Okay, so volume, we got 30 pi. Surface area was 33 pi. Now we're going to multiply the volume times 8 27 So we'll multiply the surface area times 4 ninths and calculate the new uh, answers there. Okay, so, so volume is... Um, 827, so okay, now 9 goes into 27 9 times, it goes into 30 10 times right there. All right, now we just multiply, so 8 times 10 is going to be 80 pi over 9. So the volume is going to be 80 pi over 9 inches cubed. Okay, and the surface area, uh, let's see, 3 goes into that 3 times, it goes into that 11 times. Okay, so let's go ahead and cancel those, and then we get 4 times 11 is 44 pi over 3, and this is going to be inches squared. Okay, all right, you guys, I hope that makes sense, and uh, if you're in my class, that's going to be your assignment. Take care.